of a carpenter? What gender comes to your mind? How about a mason? A mechanic? You are right. The image is all men. But why did you not think of a woman? No matter which part of the world you come from, when men and women are mentioned, usually you find people who think of men and women like this. Men are strong. Women are sensitive. Men go to work, and women stay at home and do the house chores. This type of thinking limits the potential of both men and women. But more especially, it limits the potential of women. Growing up, my mom told me stories of how she wanted to become a nutritionist. But her parents thought her place was to be in the kitchen, taking care of the household chores, and essentially becoming a good wife. Her brothers, on the other hand, were considered potential heads of the household, and so they were sent to school. As a child, back then and even now, I do not understand why the potential of someone should be limited. For me, it just does not make sense. Does it? But fast forward today, my mom became a petty trader and her brother's successful professional. My mom got married to my dad and had three children, two girls and one boy. By the time I was seven, my mom became a single mom because my dad had become very abusive towards her, always battering her, and always very much unfaithful. And so she gathered the courage to live. When she was living, she carried my two sisters and myself along with her to her village, where she sold tomatoes to earn a living, albeit very meager. In this village, I remember going to school on an empty stomach. I also remember going to school with no lunch money. Of course, I could not eat tomatoes. But I also remember vividly how schoolmates laughed at me because I wore school uniform that was torn at the buttocks to school. For me, I wear these moments with pride because it taught me all I know today about means. Now, in spite of my mom's very meager income, she ensured, my, she ensured that myself and my sister had a good start to life. She gave us university education, and which is why today I can stand before you and share my ideas and make this speech to you. My mom has been a huge influence in my life. I witnessed and lived her struggle. And through it, I learned that strength is not only displayed in the physical form. I come from a community called South Tongue District in Ghana. In this community, you find a very huge highway that connects the rest of the West Africa subregion. Beneath this highway runs the biggest man-made lake in West Africa. On this lake, you find men fishing, and on this highway, you find women hawking all type of things, bread, fish, oysters, running after speeding vehicles just to sell something to earn a livelihood for, their, for themselves and their children. In this community, according to national statistics, uh, data, men constitute the highest proportion of all the employment categories except for those who work as self-employed without employees, those who are contributing to family businesses, or those who are simply working as domestic employees. In fact, all of these three employment categories are in the informal sector, which has its own problems. It lacks structure, has very low income and unstable uh, income patterns, it has poor work relationships and conditions. And so in 2000 and 14, I started an organization that became known today as IATA. IATA is basically a vocational and business competence center that supports young women to establish formalized, sustainable, and decent livelihood in a way that is changing the narrative of women in their communities. 
when we first started, we offered training in tailoring. And our success story included 20 young women who today are running their own fashion enterprises in their community. Grace is an example of such. When I first met Grace, she told me stories of how abusive her husband has become towards her. She told me stories of how difficult it has become for her to take care of her children, two of them who are already out of school. She told me how she wanted so much to become a fashion entrepreneur. Throughout training, she got her dreams, and today, running her own enterprises, or running her own enterprise, Grace's income has increased by 150%. Her children are back to school, and guess what? She moved away from her abusive husband. In 2017, I wanted to do something on a much bigger scale, and so I came to Kantari. Now, coming to Kantari opened my eye to a different realm. It made me to question the type of training we were offering to our beneficiaries. Because really, think about it. Fashion and tailoring is an occupation that is considered male reserved, or sorry, female uh, reserved. So, Based on this and feedback that we had from members of our community, we decided to add training in occupations such as carpentry, masonry, and electrical installations. But we want to start first with carpentry, where we want to train our beneficiaries in furniture making. We chose this because of the market demand that exists for furniture. My country is one of the Shining example of Africa, it has a very stable democracy. The population is growing by 2.5% every year. Income level is, is improving. And with these dynamics, it's projected that there will be demand in residential houses as well as commercial houses and offices. Now, this will serve as a catalyst to drive the furniture industry. And we want to position our beneficiaries to take advantage of this opportunity. Anastasia is a young woman who is already uh, dreaming of establishing the first female furniture factory in her community upon en enrolling and completing of this training program. She tells us that far beyond the livelihood, she wants to create employment for other women. She wants to use her livelihood as a story to motivate other women. And so we at IATA are constantly reminded by the dreams of our beneficiaries. And we are inspired and motivated to work with them to push the boundaries. Because as it said, as it said one woman can make a huge difference. But together with you, 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 and I, we can make the world rock. So friends, join us to create this reality with Anastasia and with the many young men and women who are in your communities, who deserve a dignified life and a better future. We hope that in so doing, their livelihoods or their stories become the new narrative for future generations to come. Thank you very much. <laughs>